What's up everyone? Welcome back for part two of the Queen Ant Pro CNC build. We're, we've got the Y-axis beam and the X-axis beam assembled and we're going to start by putting the bottom Y-plate uh, connectors on across for uh, lateral support. Let's get to it. nuts for each side on top on both tops on each side other than your out your front and your back uh, piece will just be on the on the inside on the top so I'll speed this up So now that we got all the T-nuts in the 2040 aluminum extrusion, we're gonna put them up to the fixed area there, the fixed brackets that we installed on an earlier step, and it should line up with the ones on the opposite uh, axis there. And you might need a hand lifting this up to uh, anchor these in. So you start from the middle and work your way out. So you might have to throw some spacers in. I use two by fours to get uh, at the angle brackets there. And you're using the M5 eight mil nuts and the M5 T nuts. Just to be able to get in there. After you get all your cross members in, this is what it should look like. And just make sure you check your square from that corner to that corner and then reference it back to this corner to that corner just to make sure your machine is square there. We're gonna start on the next step by assembling the Y and A M plates. So uh, let's get to her. So we're gonna need our M5 20 mil low profile screws, your M5 slide T-nuts, you need two of the C-type snap rings, and your M5 16 mil uh, round head screws, and your YM plates. So now we got the slide T-nuts in there. We're just gonna spin this, or push that in just so the ball screws out of the way. We're gonna take our end plate. We're gonna take our round head screws.
don't tighten these yet, we're gonna throw our low profile M520 mil screws into the C beam here. So now that you have all your Y plates on at the back here, before we put the stepper motor on, you're going to want to grab your um, square lock nut and spin that on. Give it a little snug with a 19 mil wrench. You're going to use your Allen key and there's two set screws on there that you want to Take them out so they don't back off. You're gonna want to grab your step remover. You got your stepper motor there, you're gonna grab your aluminum spacers, 40 mil, and you need four of those, and four of the nine mil spacers. And you'll need four of the, you'll need four of your M5 by 60 mil. Snug up your jaw coupler. And then repeat the same steps for your A axis. And what's nice is it uh, already comes pre-wired. Now that both of the Y stepper motors are on, your Y1 and Y2, also referred to as the A, we're gonna throw our X on here. So my camera died when I was assembling this, but as you can see, we got all three of the stepper motors on, the two Ys and the X, and now we're gonna start assembling the Z axis. So just like the Y and the X, find our M4 key nuts, six for each one.
plates on and you just want to make sure that the recessed and the ones with your stepper motor holes is on your threaded end. So uh, we'll go ahead and throw those on. We're using uh, the low profile M515 uh, mil um, screws. Throw those on. So if you, if you haven't yet, tighten your uh, ball screw um, nut blocks on both your X and your Z before we attach the Z gantry to the exit gantry there. Just make sure they're snugged up because you won't be able to access them once this is on. And now we'll just attach the Z gantry to the X gantry using M6 heavy duty nuts in these four corners here. So if you haven't already, you're gonna use M5 14 mil screws and the nylon lock nuts to do your angle corner brackets on this side. So let's quickly get those done. Our second last step to have a fully mechanical assembled machine is to put little black angle brackets on all these cross members here. You'll be using uh, low profile M5 8 mil screws, the black angle brackets, and drop in T nuts M5. So I'll start this and I'll show you what it looks like after. So the easiest way to do it is just throw your T nuts are on there already. You just drop it in there, slide it up to the side beam there, and it should just pop in. Hand down in there, hold the square in that corner. Set up the bottom, set up the side. So all the angle brackets are on. Last thing to do is just throw these cover plates on at your four corners there. Here's the cover plates and you use uh, M5 8 mil So that's the end of part two and the end of the mechanical build of the Queen Ant Pro CNC. Super pumped to get this thing up and running. It's super rigid, super strong. And uh, I look forward to running the electronics for the next video. So give me a like, give me a subscribe, comment your questions down below. I'll be sure to answer them back and uh, follow along with uh, getting this up and running. Thanks, everybody have a good night.